said that the time's not there's no idea my best time, but just the circumstance of everything I've been through and nobody really know how, how bad I was and it's only Dave who I mean the best analogy I can give is like somebody just knocked on his door and left a bag of rubbish there, you know, and said deal with this, you know. I was that bad last year and uh, I never doubted I could get back and Dave never did either but you know, there were some dark days and um, it's only now really the last couple of weeks I've come into a bit of form and you know, that's just a fantastic feeling to win a race and to, to finish the whole way feeling strong as well rather than dying halfway through like I have been in the past. So it's really, really happy, relieved, and um, I know I've got to move on now as well. And do you sort of make it so much for the fact you were absolutely blasting it to the end, so you wouldn't have been able to do that, would you? Well, that was all emotion at the end. I mean, it was a fantastic race. I mean, I, I, Dan's one of my best mates, and um, I knew he was going to be tough, but he's in good form himself. Um, I kind of went out a bit too hard, and he came with me, then he took over, and then I kind of sensed he was dying a bit. So I, when I went to the lead for the last time, I thought, I don't want to let it come down to a final fall, like I want to get in front of about 150 hours and try and build on it. And once I got that good feeling, I was really pushing on it. Um, you haven't kicked like that since 